terrible transition, but you're balancing on a vase, which I'll show you in a second. Not smart for me to put my camera on here, but that's okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, then welcome. Today is Saturday, and um, Yusuf and I are doing some fun things together, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, we are, never mind, I was gonna explain what we're doing, but I'll just bring you guys along and show you. But this morning I worked out and um, just got ready and I like took my time getting ready and used to some playing video games and we've just been like hanging out. So I thought I'd start out this video here because in one of my last videos, I think it actually might've been my most recent one, um, I got the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and I still haven't actually tried it out because I've been just like babysitting and teaching and stuff and like, I'll either be wearing a mask all day so I won't put stuff in my lips or I am babysitting and I have kids hands all up in my business so I just haven't tried it out. So figured now is a good time to do so and I would do it with you guys. Also, I know you're at a really weird angle um, which is why I'm crunching now. But anyway, let's see what we think. I'll give you guys a little first impression. I have very um, pigmented lips naturally. Like they're very pinkish, minute. Like, well no, the, duh, they're minute. But like they're very pigmented naturally. So I have a feeling this is gonna like be exactly, oh my God, <laughs> the giant line. So I can't talk while doing this. But um, I have a feeling that I'll be, or that this color will be like pretty much like my normal lip color. Okay, let me stop talking so I can actually do this. It's very um, smooth, I will say that. Like, it's very creamy. Mm. I usually fill my lips in with the lip liner I used. So I just did that, but I feel like, hello? I feel like it's a good color. I don't know, that's way too close for comfort, but um, I'm gonna put my gloss on top. I use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in 006 Reef. I'm gonna stick that on top, I love this gloss. It's a perfect, again, like my nude color. Okay. Well, when you're done getting ready, I need to put my jewelry on and stuff, but finished the makeup and my hair. My hair is kind of a mess. Well, it's not really a mess. Like I straightened it, but I don't know. It's feeling very like, it's just like not laying how I want it to lay, but that's okay. Anyway, I feel like I've like filmed it a bit. Actually, no, that's a lie. I filmed. A little bit yesterday and I was planning on filming for the entire rest of the day because Yusuf and I were going to cook but then we did cook and we ordered food in so I started off yesterday's portion so I'll insert that footage now because I did a quick little grocery haul so enjoy that all right super quick little grocery haul ready first we have some strawberries Yusuf and I have both been really eating strawberries and I ate all of his so got some more then I got some sourdough um I love sourdough it's my favorite bread ever so got some more of that we have like one piece left so we need some more then I have some bagels I got these one time before from Whole Foods they're by the brand one mighty mill I guess but they're cinnamon raisin bagels and the ingredients are pretty clean on these and they're like not super processed and they're really good I like those with some vegan cream cheese it's delicious then I got some bananas because we only have a few brown ones but I want to make um, like muffins with those and I also got some mini potatoes I'm gonna use for dinner tonight then I got some pumpkin puree. Um, I give pumpkin to Sully if he has like an upset stomach or something, but also just for baking purposes. And then I got some pumpkin pie spice. I'm like, cannot talk today, but I actually have never used this on like coffee or anything, but people always talk about it. And I'm not like a huge pumpkin person, but I was like, we'll give it a shot. So it was only like a few bucks, obviously. And I'm excited to try that tomorrow on my coffee or honestly, I might have another coffee today. We will see. Um, but next I got these protein bars. Okay, hear me out. I was searching for a new vegan protein bar that doesn't have, obviously it's vegan, so it wouldn't have like whey or just things that upset my stomach, but it's hard to find a good one. And so I was like literally on Google searching for a new protein bar and I found this brand. It's called NuGo, N-U-G-O. I think it's like nutrition on the go. I was like, what it stands for? I don't know, could be wrong. But I ordered a big pack of, I think it's like 12 bars or something maybe, on their website of like their chocolate covered pretzel um, bar, but I never tried them. So I was like, all right, we'll just wait for them to come and we'll see how they are. Then I was at Target the other day, this <laughs> is such a long story for no reason, but I was at Target and they had them like in single form, like just sold by the bar. So I got the pretzel one and this flavor, which is chocolate chocolate chip. And I tried the pretzel one because I was like, well, then I can at least know what I'm getting in the mail. Tried it, 
tastes like a candy bar. It is so good. It's like crunchy and covered in chocolate, but the ingredients are like pretty good. And there are how many grams of protein? 12 grams of protein and just delicious, like so good. There is sugar in them, like there is cane sugar in here. Um, but I like, I don't even care. It's so good, like delicious. And if I can get some protein from a bar, especially on the go, then I'm happy with that. Oh, and then long story short, well not long story short, cause this is a long story, but I ended up trying this flavor that I got on the other day and I had it today while I was babysitting and it was also delicious. So I got two more of the um, chocolate chocolate chip ones so that I have a couple until my big pack of the chocolate covered pretzel ones comes in the mail. I don't know if that made any sense, but they're really good. Highly recommend trying those. And then I also love the brand Siete because they have some really good kind of like, not alternatives, I guess alternatives. They have like a bunch of healthier alternatives to like chips and you know, stuff like that. So I wanted to try these, the big salt and vinegar chip fan, but I wanted to try like a little bit of a healthier alternative. So I got the Siete Hint of Serrano sea salt and vinegar chips. And then I saw this the other day when I was in Whole Foods and I didn't grab them, but they made churro strips. I don't know what that's about, but I think we should try them right now, actually. Oh, it's like literally a tortilla chip covered in... Oh. Oh my God. Look how good the ingredients are. Like how clean they are. That's why I love Siete. Mm. These are gonna be dangerous though. I feel like you can eat so many of these. And I'm not even the biggest churro fan, but these are good. All right, last one. Okay. While we're here, because you're forcing me, I'll try these ones. I'm crackling so many bags, I'm sorry. Okay, let's try the salt and vinegar ones. Mmm. Really, really good. Mm-hmm, it's so good. Look at the ingredients in there. So good, mm, so clean, okay. So that's everything we got. You need to try those churro chips, salt and vinegar chips, and these protein bars. Honestly, and those bagels. Get everything I got. Yeah. See you in a bit when we're cooking. Now back to today, we're gonna head out in a little bit. So I'll bring you guys along. Also, in case you're wondering, this is what you were just um, balancing on the top of that. So we're doing great. Before we head out, quick outfit of the day. Um, this, hold on, let me take that off. This top is a thrifted, um, like, I don't know, polo type shirt, not polo, but like Henley, I guess. I don't know. It was like super long, but I cut it and then I'm wearing Lululemon leggings because I want to be comfy. I was going to wear jeans, but one of the things we're doing today is we're going to see a movie and I didn't want to be uncomfortable sitting in the theater. So I'm on leggings and then my Supergas. I'm bringing this little, little coat. It's like 60 degrees today, so it's getting a little bit colder. Not that that's cold, I know, but we're getting there. Um, and so I'm wearing this on top. It's always cold in movie theaters as well. So I'm bringing this. I don't know where this is from. I think it's from like Shein or Romway when I used to shop there. So um, yeah, that's what we're wearing today. And now we're heading out. My God, I need a freaking car wash. I haven't washed my car in a while. Oh my God, it's gross. What is that? I did a terrible job filming. Are you excited about the computer? They don't yes. even know what you want. Care to share? I got the uh, MacBook Air M1 8GB of RAM <laughs> with they don't need to know. the 512 gigs of storage. They need to know. <laughs> they don't need to know. If they don't know, they're getting. Are you opening right now? Yeah. Wait, this is the important part. This is satisfying. Give them the good good. This isn't the satisfying. Part. The satisfying well, when you do part all the peeling. The screen out. Yeah, but all right, open. Well, we're waiting. You're, the viewers are waiting okay. for this moment. Stop playing music. It's anticlimactic. <laughs> Woo! Can I hold this? This is this is the part you're waiting for. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. I think there's a screen inside that they cover too. Wait, are you gonna peel that off right now? Wait. Okay, go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Woo! Exciting! Now we're off. Can I drive right now? Yeah, you can drive. We can go to the party. I mean, store. we could. We still make it. I know. That's why I'm like, I don't know. How, let's see, see how far. Let's, yeah, let's see how long it's gonna take to get there. It's gonna take 43 minutes to get there. 
So where? To freaking South Bay. Because of traffic. It's like completely standstill traffic. So I guess we will start going there. I love how you said you're you not taking care of your laptop and you're like, wow, you're really taking good care of your laptop. No, I said you have. I said you take care of it more than anyone else I know. And then he was shocked because it looks like your laptop looks brand new and you've had it for six years. Going on seven. Are you excited? I'm so happy for you. Yes, I am. So you needed this. You always are complaining about your laptop. Well, I can finally Quit use it on my screen. Quit your mind. I can finally use it on my. You couldn't own. use the old one. No, because Why? it wouldn't scale. Oh, oh that's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Come on, stupid shit. Really got you today and you're causing problems. Oh, Yusuf, I just said quit your complaining. You don't get to complain anymore. Sir. It's like when I got my iMac, my life was forever changed. I love that thing so much. Maybe that, down, that you needed a upgrade because of the kind of work you Well, did. yeah, because of editing, but still. I need this so because nice. of how outdated the other one was. No, I know. But still, even now, like, my laptop is still pretty slow. I don't know why. But I don't really use my laptop. Are we going, where are we going? Directly going to... to South Bay, because traffic. I'm hungry. Good thing we're going to eat popcorn. I'm so excited for you to be like dressing up. I feel like you never dress up. I'm so excited. Those are kids. Hey, those are kids. <laughs> you just want to be Yoda? Let's see. Mas masks freak me out. They always smell stinky. Reeve from the Matrix. I don't even know who that is. You know who Keanu Reeves is. Who's that? Wait, no, I know the name. But I just can't like place it in my brain. Oh my god, they have dog costumes. Although I already got Sully's. He could be pizza. You could be a uh, Post Malone. <laughs> Walk through and see if we see anything else we like. That we could be. We could be hippies. This is decorations. Could get decor. Could stick these things around the house. I totally thought you would never want to decorate for Halloween. I'd rather decorate the house than decorate my face. We should get this for a little Halloween party. Oh, they're cute. No. You could be the purge where you like dress all nice and then just wear like a creepy mask. You could go as this. And I could go as this. Could be a vampire. You could go as this, I could go as this. You sure. wanna you wanna be this? That's, that's what you wanna that's be. That's a sign. It I pressed and it literally fell. Well then in that case I'll just be a devil though. That literally looks is like a devil. Just with a cape. A you can be this one too. Yeah. Wait, can we go look they have a whole wall of like costumes? Can we go look at that? We didn't look at that. There you go. Oh it's so funny. All right, we just finished the movie. You said it's not in the car. I'll explain what's going on in just a second. But we saw the movie. Um, I think it was called No Time to Kill, I believe. It was like the newest James Bond movie. Very, very, very good. I won't give any spoilers, but very good. I'm not like, like I like action movies, but I feel like I never go out and like see them. Like I never, I'm like, hey, you said I want to go see this movie. He always says he wants to, but then every time we do, I like really enjoy it. But yeah, it was great. Right before that, we were at the Halloween store or like a party store. I mean, looking at Halloween costumes in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, so we've had quite the day. We've been out for a while, so we're picking up food. We had every intention of cooking, but we don't like eat out during the week, like at all. We eat every single meal at home during the week. And so when, usually like Friday or Saturday, sometimes both, we'll like order food or go out or something um, and like pick up food or eat at a restaurant, whatever. But we just didn't feel like cooking today. So yes, we ordered in last night. We're picking up right now, but yeah, that's okay. We're picking up food at a place called called south end yeah south end pita um it's like a mediterranean i think mediterranean cuisine yeah um so i'll show you what we got we also just went to the nike outlet store because it was like right next to the movie theater so i did get one thing from there i'll show you when we get home nothing really exciting so we had a busy day a pretty full day i'm excited to go home and see puppy i miss him and we need to feed him dinner and then we want to like play with him because he's been like in his crate and i feel bad so we want to like Play with him although he just sleeps like he actually enjoys being in his crate but still i don't know okay i'm blabbing but 
I'm gonna be home in a little bit and then um, I'll show you our dinner. Chicken shawarma wrap. I'm not even in the frame. And we got some fries. These have got a chicken shawarma plate. Looks very delish. Mine looks not very interesting. Give it a try. Well, I'm just gonna get bread at first. This is so greasy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, figured I'd show you what we got from Nike because that's where we went after, like I told you guys, and we only got a few things. Also, my voice is like weird, don't know why. Um, and the lighting is weird in here, so <clears throat> we're doing well. But we only got very boring things, but Yusuf got some socks. Um, he got the Nike Everyday Cotton Cushioned Crew Socks. Exhilarating content we got over here, I know. And then I got, um, well, and then we got like a mini soccer ball. We were just kicking it around with Sully, like playing, although he was very lame and didn't wanna play with us which was rude, but we tried. And then I just got this hat because I have been wanting like a new hat because I have like that red one that I wear all the time, but I've been wanting a black one. And I saw this one and I'm very picky about the way hats fit on my head because I feel like I don't usually look good in hats. So when I find one that I think looks okay, I am all for it. So got this one, I think it's cute. Just has a little Nike logo and says Nike on it. And that's all that we got. I'm trying to decide if I should end this video off here or not. I think I'm going to because we're just going to hang out for the rest of the night. I want to get this video up that I'm filming right now up tomorrow. So I need to edit this all tonight, upload it, and I have a lot to do. So I'm going to end this off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. This is such a weird angle. Sorry. I'm like down in the bottom of the screen. Um, if you did enjoy it, though, stick around. I promise usually I am a little bit more entertaining. Not much. Don't get your hopes up, but a little bit. But tomorrow we are going apple picking. So that is the next vlog you'll see. And then I'm actually going on a trip with Yusuf. So lots of exciting things coming. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.